All right, let's take a look at the three band for the first game between Skull and Cho. What is gonna be the pre band? Is it gonna be potentially Veronica and Neftis pre band? Wow. <laughs> Just as I thought. Veronica Neftis pre band for these two flyer. First pick for. Wait, hold up. Skull. Let's see what he's gonna go with. Oliver, potentially, for the 33 lead. He likes to go fast. But maybe for SBUC, he has an entirely different strategy so that nobody can catch him off guard. But it's still going to be Oliver. So, will we see Water, Ryu, and Vert? No! Oh! Cho's going with an entirely different strategy again. He's going to go for a turn to approach with the Fire Bison and Gyo first pick here. Very annoying two unit against Oliver. Here comes the segment to potentially reset the Fire Bison turn one. And maybe he's gonna follow up with a Shizuka to get all that debuff. No, he's gonna go with a Praha instead for some heal damage and strip. So I think Cho's gonna go for more passive. I smell the smell of the rat coming up. Maybe Mouse Raccoon will be the option. No, it's gonna be Fire Monkey Raccoon here. A little bit too fire heavy for my taste. Let's see what Skull's gonna do to punish this. Potentially go in with double water and ban the wind last pick. That is gonna be a very classic strategy in the RTA book. He's gonna go for the Julian, one of the strongest unit, one of the strongest bruiser in the game right now for his fourth pick. To keep the option open as well, he doesn't have to ban the last wind unit. So we're gonna go for another fire unit to counter all the different passive on the side of Cho. So I think with no immunity, maybe Cho is gonna go for a heavy debuff unit last pick, or he may go with an immunity healer, maybe a Riley, but that would make him a bit vulnerable to the monkey ban. So he might have to pick up another damage dealer that can support the team at the same time. It's going to be a Wusa for that slot. So maybe we are looking at a Praha ban here and potentially a Rakuni ban for this two player. I say Rakuni ban not because it's strategy, okay? Because I hate that unit. That is a personal thing that I just said. <laughs> but let's see what's going to be banned here. It's going to be a Rakuni and the Praha ban. Yes. That is going to be the ban, and Raccoon is getting banned, I'm sure, because out of personal, like, just anger and nightmare from that unit, and not because of strategy. Here we go, first game, Sekhmet looking for a reset. Will she be Sekhmet or Disappointment? She will perform the strip reset, and here comes Gyo punishing the Oliver at the same time as well. Getting the defense break on the Oliver, now that is very scary. So Oliver cannot go for skill 3 because he'll just suicide immediately. Monkey getting defense broken, Monkey might die! Monkey will go out of the way! Oh my god, Cho biggest damage dealer got absolutely murdered in an instant. And there was nothing that he could do to stop it. Is that JJ? It's not just yet, but here comes the defense break. And if that Julian feel a little bit sneaky, he might go for another kill on the Bison. Oh, no, no, no. Somebody stop the Julian. And here's another kill. Double kill for the Julian. And that is... That might be GG. But, oh, Wusa. Wusa with a comeback. No, just kidding. Wusa is not coming back anywhere in this. Oh my god, you thought that was gonna stop the Julian, but no, the recent balance smash and another violent breath for the Julian, another stun on the Wusa. Nobody is stopping this vampire, it is unstoppable. Two turn sleep, that's not gonna scare me. Stun, that's not gonna scare me. Hello to another turn for the Julian and another violent proc goes. Turn on something, and that was not. <laughs> oh my god. Every turn, this thing, violent proc. What, the, what in the world was that? Unbelievable! That Julian had eight violent runes on it, and JJ it eat the entire team of Cho.
Wow! My man! Skull! Literally Skull! Jo Cho! Right there! With the Julian! <laughs> wow! Unbelievable! What did I just witness? <laughs> I'm speechless from that! That's just Julian being an absolute nightmare for Cho! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can already see what pre ban is going to happen next game. If he doesn't pre ban that, that Julian, eh, there's no way he's not going to pre ban the Julian. Man, I want to see Cho face right now. Is he smiling like that? I mean, if I'm him. I'll be smiling like the Joker, you know? Like, you're just smiling. In, in disbelief, in despair, in anger. You're just smiling all the way. All right, next round, pre-ban between Skull and Cho. What is going to be the pre-ban here? Are we seeing... No, it's going to be a segment and same a pre-ban here. And first pick for Cho. Will he take the Oliver away from Skull? Or will he stick with the turn two strategy and maybe first pick the fire bison? But damn, that Julian will punish it so bad. It's gonna be the fire bison first pick here. So we see Neftis mouse for skulls. Ooh, Cho will not go down in a turn two position anymore. And he's gonna rise up with a speed lead and a chunk punk this time. But. I think we might see a Veronica. Oh, no, Veronica. Gonna pick up a Raccoonie here. And a Fire Monkey. He's trying to show Cho how to play turn two, potentially. I'm not sure if this is the right move, though. He could have gone with... Oh, oh, Veronica on the side of Cho. Well, I think Skull is the guy not with Veronica. I can't tell anymore. Everyone has Veronica these days. Julian last pick, because who's gonna stop Julian? Only calm to us can stop Julian at this point. Nobody will. Julian last pick here. I think it's going to be potentially a Veronica or Chungpeng ban. And it has to be a Julian ban. It has to be a Julian or Raccoon ban because Raccoon is just in everyone's dream at this point. Okay. So which one is it going to be? He's thinking about a Julian ban. I know. I know. I can smell it. No, it's going to be a Water Ryu and a Sackmet ban. Which means Cho is going to let Skull have the Raccoonie and two unstunnable units. I, I, I'm not sure about this. I mean, he does have a lot of attack bar reduction in the first turn. But he doesn't have no, the capability to one-shot them fast enough. Oh my god, he lost a slow debuff. He literally slot lost a slow debuff. And the Julian is never gonna let that bison take a turn ever again. And Julian doesn't die to dots anymore. In the past, right here, maybe the Veronica might kill the Julian because of the dots. But that is not happening any. Oh no, that's not looking good. That is not looking good. The bison once again die without doing anything. Just like the last game. Raccoon getting a turn. And another violent prop because that's what Raccoon does anyway. GG. I, I, I mean, Skull can literally hit the auto button at this point. And there's nothing that Cho can do. Who's going to stop the violent prop from the Julian? Nobody. I said nobody. Why did you not ban this vampire? He's sucking everything you have away. And that is, that is GG. He let the monkey and the raccoon stay. I, I wouldn't dare. I, I wouldn't dare. That is GG. Wow. And that's it. There's just nothing that Cho can do. You cannot go with a conventional control team against the, the Julian and the Monkey and the Raccoon. This combination is it, uncontrollable. And GG. Skull will move on. And Cho will move to the loser bracket.